morning everyone. Today I'm going to talk to you about sodium fusidate. Now it's a bit opportune because I've been doing a bit of DIY recently and I managed to get a little uh, cut on my finger there. So I thought I'd talk to you about something that can be used to treat uh, superficial skin infections. Now my cut there is actually healing up quite well. There's only a little bit of erythema around there, very little pus at all. So this you know, blatantly doesn't need any um, antibiotic treatment. But if it, say it was a bit worse, say my finger was starting to swell a bit, you had a lot of erythema, a lot of pus there, you can use sodium fusidate to treat superficial skin infections. It comes in three formulations, cream, oral and IV. Now for a superficial infection you want to use the cream. Sometimes you can see it combined with uh, topical corticosteroids as well, so creams like Fusibet, Fusidin H have hydrocortisone and betamethasone in them, and they can be used for people with quite severe eczema. Sodium Fusidate is a narrow spectrum, and um, it only really treats staphylococcal infections. If you're using the oral or IV formulation, that's normally for a more serious infection, so it could be a bone infection like osteomyelitis, can be used for endocarditis can sometimes be used in um, cystic fibrosis as well because they tend to get uh, slightly more opportunistic lung infections. The main problem with sodium fusidate is it can cause reversible liver toxicity, especially if it's infused too quickly. It's not an antibiotic that you see that often. It is narrow spectrum, so it's a second line agent in most cases, but it can be quite useful. Okay. So today I'm mostly going to be doing my laminate flooring, so hopefully by tonight you'll see that the floor is a lot better than it is now. Thank you very much.